guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is gonna be a declutter I need to do this I've been kind of putting it off I mentioned it in my palette collection video that I was gonna do a declutter and then I kept putting it off because I don't know when it comes to getting rid of makeup you know it's just one of those things you're kind of like ah, I should do it but do I really want it <laughs> so that is what we're gonna be doing today my collection is out of control with just the high-end makeup palettes I have a grand total of 40 so it is absolutely insane I need to get rid of some and so many of them are going untouched right now so I think it's time I need to offer them up to someone who is actually gonna put them to good use. So my goal is to get rid of at least 40%. That's that's the goal. That will be a manageable amount. So let's go ahead and move over to my eyeshadow drawer and uh, start decluttering. So this is the current situation in which I am dealing with. It is a hot mess. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take everything out of the drawer and then kind of clean it out and then start putting things in and deciding which I'm keeping and which I'm not. I'm gonna get started with my two largest palettes because they are gonna have to go at the bottom of this drawer since they're just so large. So the first one I have is the Morphe 35M. This eyeshadow palette has just been so loved by me. I bought this probably, I think it was two Christmases ago. I bought this one and the next palette, which is the S. Here is the S palette. That way you can see both of them at the same time. They are both so beautiful. I love using them. It's just such a large palette in a way. It kind of makes it a little bit intimidating to use. And as you can see, it's basically, in my opinion, like the same palette. It's just one is all of them in mattes, one of is all of them in shimmers. So they there's a lot of shades to work with, but they do complement each other so well. I definitely don't use these palettes as much as I should. I really need to start using them more because it is really good quality. I do really enjoy them. So I will be keeping both of these. Next palette, I have the Urban Decay Naked 2. This palette I will be decluttering. As you guys can see, it has been well loved. It was one of my favorite palettes for the longest time before I started my channel. I use this probably every single day. It has such a good color scheme and you are able to create such beautiful everyday kind of makeup looks. Do something a little bit more daring if you wanted to, but if you wanted to stick kind of neutral, this is a perfect palette. But with the state it is right now, it is time to declutter it. There's no point in keeping it, I mean, it's it's just time. It's also so old that the shadows probably aren't that good anymore. So this is the first one in which I'm going to be getting rid of. Then I'm going to try to keep the brands together. So this one is also by Urban Decay, except from this is the Smoked palette. This is going to be another palette in which I declutter. This palette I have had for probably two years now, I think it was, and I reached for it twice. I am not a fan of it. The shimmery shades come out almost looking black, or at least it has a black tint to it, and it's not exactly what I think of when I see it in the pan, so it kind of disappoints me and is why I haven't really reached for it. I've kept it in my collection in hopes that maybe I'll one day use it and then fall in love with it, but that hasn't happened, so I think it's time to part ways with this palette and give it to someone who might actually enjoy it. Then we have one more Urban Decay palette. Not entirely sure what the name of this one is, but oh my gosh. This is an all shimmery palette and the shades in here are absolutely to die for. They are so creamy, so pigmented, and just look so beautiful. The favorite shade of mine is that blue. I really enjoy this palette. I need to start reaching for it more. The All Shimmery palettes are the ones that I have the most difficulty reaching for just because I usually use one palette and it's just easier that way for me because everything is right in front of me. I think of that look 
So I need to make a conscious effort to use this palette more just because it is so unbelievably gorgeous. So I'm going to be keeping this one. I then have this little mini palette that is from Bobbi Brown. This is the Golden Eye palette and it comes with a double-ended brush. Also came with a mini mascara I have since removed and used. And it is a really nice little to-go palette if you're someone who likes things a little bit more simple. Personally, I'm someone who overcomplicates things, <laughs> so I need a ton more shades to work with, which is one of the reasons that I don't really use it. It is a really good palette, really good quality. I just find myself not really reaching for it, so I'm going to give this to someone who would just use this tiny little mini palette and be happy with it, so... This one will be decluttered. Then, oh, this palette. This is the Bright Lights palette by Pinky Rose. I purchased this palette last year at IMATS Los Angeles and oh, I'm so happy I did. It is so incredible with the pigment. The colors just stand out so beautifully. It is probably one of the best colorful eyeshadow palettes that I have just because the pigment is there from the start. It's also a fun a little added benefit with those little glitter shades. I think they're fun to kind of pop on if you want to change up the look a little bit. This palette actually sits top shelf. It sits up in my little coffin bookshelf. So there is no way I am getting rid of this palette. This is staying for as long as I can keep it. I then have the Too Faced Glitter Balm. This palette I had just hauled in a recent TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul. I forget the number of it, but I will link it down below in case you want to check out that. I have a ton of haul videos, but this palette has not gotten that much love for me yet. I kind of saw this more of a kind of Christmas time palette. I know with all the glitter you're thinking summer, but for me, I was thinking doing some dark looks with just a little bit of pops of color of glitter. And especially in fall time, I like to do a lot more fun looks. So I haven't had the opportunity to play with it that much, but from what I can tell, I do really enjoy it so far. So I'm gonna keep it in my collection and keep playing with it. Then sticking with the Too Faced theme, I have the Natural Matte Palette. I forget the name of the other palette in which I had, but I had the palette in which it looked almost exactly the same as this, except from it had a couple of shimmery shades where these were all mattes. So that palette I actually ended up giving away this weekend to my mom. She came down to visit, so I gave her some of my makeup, and I felt like she would get a little bit more use out of that palette than me since both those palettes just look so similar. This palette I think I could get a lot more mileage out of. It is a color scheme that I really enjoy. It's a natural palette that you can use on the daily. You don't really have to think about it too much creating some crazy colorful look. You can just pop on a couple colors and be good to go. Lastly of Too Faced, I have the Cat Eyes palette. This is a really pretty palette. I haven't reached for it that much. I got it a while ago. I think it was just a few months now. And I've tested it out a handful of times and I think it might have been the eyeshadow primer in which I was using, but some of the colors came off looking a little bit patchy. I do need to test it again using my favorite eyeshadow primer. I was testing a new one which didn't really end up working for me and I think that was the issue. So I'm thinking I'm gonna hold on to this eyeshadow palette for now, give it a couple more tries and see if the patchiness works itself out. So I'm gonna be giving it another shot before I decide if I want to declutter it or not. So I will be keeping this one for the time being. Then here come two no-brainers. We're moving into my ABH stash. This, of course, is the Prism palette. It is definitely more of a playful palette where you can create a lot more dramatic looks. The colors are just so rich in pigment and so colorful and bright that I absolutely love it. You can even do some neutral looks. I did a very neutral look the other day with this and it looked phenomenal. I love the quality of ABH shadows. I have only positive things to say about this palette, so this is an absolute no-brainer. This one is staying, it's not going anywhere, which is gonna be the same for the modern renaissance. This palette is 
top shelf, along with the other one actually. You can see how much I love this palette. I have hit pan on several shades because it is just that good. This was my everyday eyeshadow palette for the longest time. It's just the most beautiful color scheme. I find I can do so many looks with this palette. This will never leave my collection. There you guys can see my camera in there, but this is a ABH quad. This is the Illuminate with Youthful Synergy palette number five. And it is a really beautiful eyeshadow palette. I mean, it's ABH. They have great quality eyeshadows. I absolutely love it. I have used it a handful of times. I definitely need to use it more. I really enjoy the quality of it. The only thing I have to say is that little duo shade. I'm not exactly sure why they did that. I don't really enjoy that one just because it's kind of weird how they can start to blend together, but hey, that's just me. You just gotta be kind of careful if you're just trying to use one shade, just try not to sweep it over the other one. But other than that, it is a gorgeous palette. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one. Which here is one I am actually gonna be decluttering. This is an Isadora palette. This is their number 58 Snow Fairy palette. It has a really beautiful pink kind of purple tone to it. Very pretty palette, but this palette I've had for almost eight years now. It is time to declutter it. And I got it at a younger age in which I was still experimenting with makeup. So I was thinking at the time this was great quality eyeshadows, but then as I started to know more about makeup, I just realized it wasn't that great. The pigmentation just wasn't amazing from it. So I stopped reaching for it and then I just kept it because I purchased it at such a young age. I actually purchased it while I was in Sweden visiting family, so that's one of the only reasons I kept it. So it is time to get rid of this palette. I don't reach for it, I don't use it, and it's way too old. We then have the Cargo Cosmetics Getaway Palette. This one I just recently did a full face testing new makeup and this palette was featured in it. I was not happy with this palette. From using it in that review and then testing it out again, I just was not really happy with the pigmentation. The colors were a little bit patchy and overall I just felt very disappointed in my eyeshadow look when I used it. So I may just declutter this one even though I have only had it for just a couple months now. But you know what? I'm gonna give it away. I don't think there's any point in keeping it if I already know that I don't like it. I think I'm gonna keep putting it in the back of the drawer and then just not using it and using the other ones that I know work and I know enjoy. So I'll put this in the decluttering pile. Oh baby, here we go. This is the Alamar Cosmetics Rina del Caribe palette. Man, oh man, this palette is incredible. This palette came in a boxy charm and the second I used it, I fell in love with it. The pigmentation in this palette is insane. And this to be her first palette that she ever launched and it just be that good a quality, I'm in shock. Other companies need to take note on this palette. It is so good. It is just such a good palette. I think you can create some beautiful looks with it. I've even used it for my Halloween looks. So this is a palette that is a no-brainer. It is staying put in my collection. This one I also keep top shelf up in my coffin. So that is going back up there. We then have another BoxyCharm palette. This is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal. Now this palette has a ton of fun colors in it. There are some really bright shades in there. Personally, I really enjoyed it when I first tested it out. I created a really crazy look using every single shade because I want to test them all out. I have not reached for this palette since. I just find that I reach around it and if I reach for a colorful palette, I reach for the bright lights over this one. There are some similar shades that come in the Bright Lights palette 
that also come in this one. So I just reach for that palette more than I do this one. So I have been kind of toying with the idea of giving this palette to someone else that might enjoy this bright colorful palette. I might keep it just for a couple no more months, see if I use it, see if I start reaching for it more, and then if I don't end up decluttering it later. It's about to be a theme, y'all. It's BoxyCharm and Pure. This was a palette they did in collaboration with BoxyCharm for that month in specific. It is a really beautiful palette. There's a lot of good pigmentation, nothing wrong with it. I just have found myself not using it and since I did my eyeshadow palette collection, I was saying how I need to start using it more and then if I don't end up reaching for it, I should declutter it and give it to someone else who will enjoy it. And that's what I decided to do today. It's nothing wrong with it. I just don't personally reach for this palette. I have a lot more palettes that I gravitate towards before I reach for this one. And I guess since it is a boxy charm and pure theme, I am moving into the most recent palette that they just had in this month's box. It is the Pure Midnight Masquerade palette. This palette came with six eyeshadows and four blushes. They were of very good quality, great pigmentation, nothing wrong with it, but the blushes in this palette were so shimmery it almost seemed like an eyeshadow. I am not the biggest fan of blushes. I am still warming up to it and very shimmery blushes is just not for me. So I know for a fact I will not be using those four blushes just because of the shimmeriness that is in them. The eyeshadows were really great quality, very pretty colors, but if I'm not going to be using half of a palette, I don't think there's a point in me keeping it. I know I will just keep it and not touch these blushes and they're just so beautiful to go to waste. So. Even though I just got this palette, I am going to be giving this to a friend, someone who will just use it and love it more than I will. We then have another pure palette. This is the My Little Pony The Movie Palette. This eyeshadow palette I do believe came out, I think it was a little over a year ago. and. I personally loved My Little Ponies. That's one of the reasons I grabbed it. Another reason was I had a really great coupon code and I got it for only $5. But I got it for that deal and then I did a review on it on my channel. And I did really enjoy the palette. I was able to create a really pretty look. But since that video and testing it out several times after, I... I feel like some eyeshadows are lacking a little bit in the pigmentation department, so I don't really reach for this palette that often at all. I gave myself since the last palette collection video to start using it more, along with a couple other palettes, and since then I just haven't really reached for it. So that tells me I'm probably not going to reach for it, so I am going to be decluttering this palette. I think someone else could really enjoy it. I mean, do I even need to talk about this palette? <laughs> this is the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Round 2 palette, also known as Friendcation, and I really don't need to say much about this palette. I did a full review on it with my best friend Corellia not too long ago. I will link that video, but oh my gosh, this palette is incredible. I have since used every single shade. I've created a ton of different looks, and I have fallen in love with this palette more every single time. It has since moved up to the coffin, and it is top shelf, so that is not going anywhere. That is going back up to the top shelf soon as this video is done. At this point, I realized I needed to split the video up into two parts, just because I have so many palettes to go through and I don't want you guys to be watching a 40 minute long video about me decluttering my palettes. So this is gonna be part one. If you wanna check out part two, I will be posting it in just a couple of days. So make sure you are subscribed so you know when that goes live. When it is, I will put a link in the description box below to it. 
But hopefully you like this part one of the palette decluttering video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!